Welcome, I'm Super Dave Gaming. Today I have a Conan Exiles top 10 base locations for PvE for you guys. Alright, so before I start, I want to mention this is just my opinion. This is this isn't something I believe is set in stone. Also, there's a few bases now that you might think would make the list that aren't because you either can't build there anymore or if they're high up on the ledge uh, and a purge can't spawn, they will spawn in your base and you really don't want that. So here we go at number 10, guys. I wanted to show this off uh, just because this is a really cool base. We are on my uh, community server, guys. You're more than welcome to join. Um, but this is Wendy's base. They are a tribe on our or a clan on our server. They did a really good job. And honestly, this is a good base location because you are really close to the Mounds of the Dead. Now, it doesn't have the best resource resources around it, but it is a good spot and you can farm the Sumerian Sim Berserker if you're really into thralls. And, um, and not to mention, it's not that far away from the cold for black ice and stuff like that before you get your map room set up. All right, guys, for number nine, we are down in the south, and I'm not a huge fan of building down the south, but this is a really cool location. It's really flat. Um, granted, you're gonna have to go a little bit farther for resources, and this is one of the spots, as you can see, you can still build here. Um, some of the cool spots, uh, like I mentioned, you can't build there anymore. This is one of them you can. Um, the perk to this is you down in the south, so a lot of people will be able to see this base, and uh, it'll be really cool if you're a good builder to show off your builds. Okay, right, guys, we are at number eight right now, and this is a really cool spot. You have a really good view up here. Um, it's just very flat, as you can see. Um, also, you can still build up here after the update, and uh, there is metal, as you can see, right over there um, in front of my character, and some over there as well, guys. So resources are pretty good over here. Not, not too bad. They're pretty good over here, and you have a really cool view. Um, being in this location, you're, you're still pretty close to the south. Which I'm so your purges aren't going to be too bad, and I would make sure that you guys leave a spot for your purges to spawn to attack you when you build here. But this is a very nice spot, it's really flat, easy to build on. At number seven, we're starting to move up north here a little bit. We have this really nice plateau up here. The one issue with it, though, guys, is make sure that you have somewhere for your purge to spawn. Um, there is iron close by a bonus to why this one's at seven compared to maybe a couple of them other ones on the list is you have this obelisk almost right here guys to come back to to your base which will help you out if you're getting black ice and stuff like that um, really nice flat base as you can see you can still build here with no problems um, you can put a pretty decent sized base on here definitely a, a, one of the better flatter spots to build that is up high in the game now at number six you can see we're to the far west side of the map um, near the oasis and this is where we are there is plenty of iron over here um, this is a nice little flat spot um, normally I would have picked over here but as you can see now you can no longer build over here um, I think it has to do with the city. I am actually not sure on that, so don't quote me on that. But you can build over here, and you're still close to the water and have this really cool view. There's plenty of iron over here. And being really close to the, to the city over here, uh, the Relic Hunter City, you can get tons of really good thralls. This is one of my favorite spots to get thralls at. So, and you have brimstone right here very good spot for resources and just kind of the way it looks at number five we're at Talos Island there isn't going to be a whole lot to say about this one 
This one has a really good view. Um, it's not as flat as the others, but I've seen some really incredible bases built on this island. And not to mention you have a really cool view and there is tons of iron in this spot, guys. This is, this is definitely one of the more popular places to build. At number four, we kind of go to the crazy other end of the spectrum. This is a place no, not many people build at. We are by the Black Galleon. And I am talking about this like plateau right here. It is really flat. This is actually one of my favorite places to build a base at. Um, because you have all this XP sitting over here in Easy Icker. Brimstone's not too far away. Iron's not too far away. And a big bonus to this one is thralls for your workstations. Because the Black Alien is one of the better spots in the game. With the the um, Relic City and the Nordenheimer town uh, at getting your thralls. So this is a really good one. And not many people build up here, guys, at all. Um, this is a very unused place. And it kind of surprises me for how good it is. And you won't generally have a lot of people build in this area in general, guys. I think one of the reasons that people don't build up here is they think they're so close to back get black alien in these camps that they can't build up here but as you can see you can build up here also I want to add real quickly that there is a chest right here with a boss that you can fight and it's really easy to farm this is one of the easier bosses at number three we are in the Nordenheimer territory for a pretty good build this one generally will be somebody here but if there's not this is a really good spot really close to a lot of iron and a pretty good flat area to build on it also happens to be as you can see really close to the to new azagarth uh, i hope i pronounce that right i always pronounce it wrong but arguably one of the best spot to get thralls along with this border around the town um, Definitely one of the better spots on the map to build for sure At number two guys. We are at my personal favorite and this is where I built on my server this plateau here between the watchtowers and New Asgarth and it's right by this rib cage has a cool view Not normally taken by a lot of people um, tons of iron I'll show you that here in a second actually, but you have this nice area to build on right here um, pretty flat not extremely flat but it's a pretty big area you can get a good base in it and you have these watchtowers to farm these thralls uh, one of the best spot to get thralls because of the random chance of uh, named thralls coming into this watchtower area also it's still by new A new asgarth so it's not that far to go and this is one of the biggest bonuses here, guys. Look at all this iron over here right next to it. And there's normally not a whole lot of people farming this iron over here. And it just keeps going this whole way. And um, if you do like pets, it's a decent spot to get bears and wolves. As there is generally wolves down here. And there is a wolf den right there, as you can see, that I'm flying towards. So you will find generally a lot of cubs or pups over in this area. As you can see, there's two right there. With some more iron over here as well. There's iron along this whole whole area here too, as long, if you want more than just that. And it's close to the north. One of my absolute favorite spots to build. Okay guys, at number one, we are over in the jungle. Over here in this base location here this is a pretty flat area when it's not raining and foggy has a really cool view as you can see kind of see anyway and has a tree that you can go up the uh, like a bridge here and yes you can build in this area still has some really good spots for metal and iron over here and uh, another tree here and it would be really cool to have a spread out base with these different plateaus It would challenge you to build a really nice base I know that's a little different because this doesn't have a little ton of area But I think sometimes challenging yourself is a really really good thing and that's how you get better at games and or building